This is Eric with Epic Duel Time, not the Eric Bernier you know and love, I am Eric White. Hopefully two Erics won't be too confusing, but I'm here today to talk about the new Pendulum support that just got leaked. Specifically in regards to Metal Foe, there are so many synergies with Metal Foe as several of the new cards trigger off destruction. If you haven't seen the new cards, we already uploaded a video for them, so I won't go and go too in detail about every effect on them. For that, I highly recommend checking out the previous video that we like just uploaded. I wanted to put some sort of combo video up for you guys. Keep in mind this was done at like 2 a.m. right when I saw the cards, and I, that's when I'm recording this right now. This isn't like a refined combo, refined deck or anything, but more so as a skeleton for you to base something off of and work on further. Um, I'll show the deck that I used to make this combo happen and go over like some cool interactions that the deck has with these new cards after I go over this um, combo. Um, that being said, I'll do my best to narrate this, but, um, so this is Metal Phobe, Zephyr, Pile. So, I started with Abductor, Terraforming, add the new field spell, and if you haven't read the field spell, the most important effect on this is if this card is destroyed, you can take a Draco Slayer or Draco Overlord monster from the deck and either add it to your hand or special summon it, which is insane, because the Metal Phobes do what they do best, they just keep popping cards on the field to um, set the spells and traps to occur uh, just um and just tutor out advantage from popping your own cards so if the card you're popping replaces itself it's even better so you so i use summers right here add volflin uh, oracle to add zephyrath activate zephyrath use it to send zephyr nui to the extra deck um, use abductor to add soul then I scale steel and steel in to pop Zephyrath to set combination. And, you're, and then I'll use Volflame to set combination as well. And this whole just soul send two with. Send two combinations with soul to draw two and then get two searches is so insane. So here I add Melocaster and Volflame, which are like the best ones to search. Now I make Beyond the Pendulum, and of course pay 1200 to add like the best Pendulum card ever, Astrograph. Especially in this deck, because it can trigger off anything if you open it. Um, so I scale Gold Flame, a uh, Gold Driver, sorry. Gold, then I Pendulum Summon 5. Like it's fucking Pepe format all over again. So uh, the Zephyr Nui effect will let me add Divine Strike, which is already in a gate that's just searchable through the deck. And then what I do next is I overlay into Auda's Absolute Dragon, turn Absolute and Beyond into Selene, Selene gets its counters, and Absolute summons Vortex, which is another negate, and then uh, I'm going to use Selene, removing the three counters to bring back souls, and then turn those two into a two material Appaloosa. So now I already have the two my Appaloosa, a Vortex, and Divine Strike, and I'm just getting started. I'm going to put down the new field spell. I haven't used my gold driver yet, so I'm going to use gold driver to set Paramedal Fuse Fusion from the deck. The new card, the new field spell is going to summon this card, Ignis, Phoenix of the Draco Slayer. Now, the important part about this card is this effect right here. If this card on the field is destroyed by battle or card effect, I can special summon a Draco Slayer or Ignite monster from your deck, and if so, it is treated as a tuner, which is insane. So I go Paramedal Foes, fusing Steelin and Zephrath from the extra deck to make Mithrilium. I use Mithrilium, shuffling back Paramedal Foes and Melcaster to bounce Gold Driver back. Place Gold Driver, pop Ignis to set fusion. Um, Ignis triggers to summon Ignite Gallant. Now, the reason I'm playing this card is because it's a level 6, and because it was summoned off Ignis, it's treated as a tuner now. So now, I can go that and the Majesty into Baron de Fleur. Um, I actually didn't cover Majesty, I didn't have to use the effect in this combo, but the best, the most important effect on this card is that if you Pendulum Summon it, or Special it off a Draco Slayer card's effect, so, in theory, if you summon it off of Ignis, it would get its effect, and you can add any field spell from your deck to your hand, then discard a card, which is kind of crazy, considering you could add, you could side into Mystic Mine and search it if they don't stop it, and like just keep forcing out your opponent's interruptions and such, which is kind of cool. But since Gallant is 
considered a tuner, I use those two to make Baron. And I do here is use Baron to pop my own Volflame to trigger my Astrograph in hand to summon itself and add Volflame. And now what that lets me do is I link both Zephyrnui and Mithrilium into IP. Uh, Mithrilium triggers when it leaves a field to bring back the Volflame. Then I'm going to activate Fusion, fusing both Volflames together into Alkahas. And I'll use Fusion to put itself back, draw a card set, and that's that. So what this end board is, is two Appaloosa negates, a Vortex negate, a Baron negate, Alkahas quick play Thousand Eyes, and I can use IP to, oh, can't see it in the replay, but I can use IP to make Unicorn with my Astrograph to shuffle something back by discarding the Souls Industry and Divine Strike. So that is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven interruptions. Seven interruptions off of just these new cards being playable and like just, I think these cards are insane. Now, as I said, so that was the combo. So let me just cut right here to the pile that I played. And so obviously, like I said, this isn't refined. I just wanted to point out some niche interactions that are in the deck. So, obviously the field spell is broken. If you're playing the field spell with Oracle Zephyr, it just opens so many possibilities. Like, I have set rotation in here. Like, it is just to add extra, like, consistency to this pile. Um, the nice thing here is that w with Bungbuku, if it's normal or special summoned, you can add one Magispect or Monster from your deck to your hand. Now, what's cool is that the new Majesty Pegasus, this it says right here, this card is always treated as a Magispector card. So if you play Bambuku, you can just search this, which and then you can Pendulum summon it and add any field spell and just and, by just discarding a card. And then with the with Ignis. Um, obviously I covered the, if it's destroyed by battle, you can special summon a Draco Slayer or Ignite. Now, you don't necessarily need to play the Gallant, because if you're, ideally you should probably be playing a smaller, um, deck, like 40 cards, because if you're playing the Zephras and you summon Zephra Nui off your Pendulum Summon, you can pop this and use it to summon the Majesty Pegasus and treat that as a tuner, and then 4 plus 6 still makes 10 for your Baron. Now, um, the other one that, the Dynamite one, I don't think is that good, Sp at least not for Metal Foe, I'm sure it will certainly find a home in any other Pendulum deck, but I just don't think Metal Foe is the deck for it because it doesn't really have any synergies with it. Um, and yeah, I mean, you could even go as far as like playing Draco face off, maxing out on the Draco Slayers and Draco Overlords. Um, if you ask me, I think this is Konami's excuse to put Draco face off finally back to three. Um, and if they do that, it will be so insane playing three Draco face off with like all these names plus luster plus like the Overlords. And, like, yeah, I love this deck. Like, I've always loved Metal Foe, so the fact that there's hope to be able to play one of my favorite decks again, like, I'm so excited for this. Um, yeah, um, so that's pretty much it. Again, this is, like, this deck looks like just a pile, and it is a pile. I just kind of threw this together. Um, so... Again, this is just a skeleton, and these are just ideas I'm portraying to you, the audience, so feel free to do what you want with it, um, and make it your own. So, thank you for watching, and see you guys next time.